Hey, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to guide you through the framework real quick so you can start automating uh, your test cases very quickly. So let me start sharing my screen. So it's the same um, readme MD file that I already showed you where you, uh, you downloaded it from here really. So if you scroll down a little bit, you will see that uh, this is a Cucumber Boilerplate framework that based on, the, of course, WebDriver, I.O. and Cucumber and JavaScript. And it brings true behavior-driven development. So instead of writing uh, your test code that developers can understand, um, you can write your code in a human readable format uh, called Cucumber or Gherkin. And then once you do that, so uh, requirements, we already installed everything here and we did this. So the features, uh, it's very simple. It's really one of the simplest uh, frameworks that I've ever seen. So it has, uh, comes with a full integration with WebDriver IO. Uh, it actually has over 150 predefined steps. So you basically don't need to write anything However, you can write some custom steps as well if you want to. It has integration with the services like Sauce Labs, and um, it's, it comes with a parallel uh, execution under the hood. So uh, that thing is, is somewhat tricky and you can struggle uh, setting it up, uh, but here it's already there. So this is the example of the test case, and I'm gonna show you that later on. Um, how you can run that, um, yeah, you can just do either one of these commands, yarn run do, or you can just do run configuration file. I'm gonna show you that briefly uh, in the moment, how you can uh, set up your test run. And you can actually change the environments here by just Doing, uh, running it like this, which is again, kind of cool thing. Uh, you don't have to run all the test cases that you have. You can uh, specify whatever um, scenarios you want to run. Uh, you can also use tags for your convenience. Um, you can skip some tests uh, by adding pending tag. Uh, it uses regular expressions, so I'm not gonna touch anything here. And the assertion library for this uh, or um, is a test runner is Chai. Um, so yeah, you can leave your comments. Um, Multi-line comments, single line comments. And this is actually a list of predefined steps. So as you can see, it's pretty long uh, list and it has like 99% of uh, the actions that you need to perform with your browser in order to write your test cases. So for example, if you wanna click something, you can just search, just control F and search for click. And as you can see here, you can click or you can even double click. And these are different options that you can do. Um, you can clear the entered, values from the input field, drag and drop, submit the form, a lot of things. Just um, search for that and we're gonna use IntelliSense as well so it will help us writing the code. So now let me get to Visual Studio. So here if you click uh, this, um, this file here, do.conf.js, um, you can see here that there is a lot of comments left for you guys, so uh, you don't have to Google it really anywhere. Uh, you can just read what's in there and it should be really very easy to use and basically there is nothing uh, you wanna do uh, it here, but a couple of things I really wanna show you. So first of all, max instances. It's set to five already and it means that if you have more than uh, one uh, feature files, it will actually really run them in parallel utilizing for up to five browsers. Um, you can 
also define the browser. So by default, it's Chrome, but you can use Firefox, Safari, IE, and so on. Um, and some other stuff, another very cool thing here, uh, it captures screenshots automatically when it, if it fails. So since we, uh, well, we actually, we, we actually should have it somewhere already since we run it, but yeah, I will show that a little bit later. Um, what else? Um, this is the base URL, so you don't have to repeat the same URL over and over. Uh, you can just use the relative path. I'm going to show you that as well. Wait for timeout. So that's basically implicit wait uh, defined for you as a 10 seconds. So again, you don't have to struggle with any explicit weights or anything. However, you can do that, but by default, it's already set to 10 seconds. And a um, few more things, framework cucumber, reporters, and compilers, and fail fast, and some other um, like location of your uh, step definition files. And yeah, basically, yeah, some hooks, um, assertion framework chai, and, and so on. Okay, in the next video, we will actually start writing the test cases. Bye.